It's one of the world's largest natural harbours. It was the last port of call for the Titanic and the graveyard of the Lusitania. From its quays, generations of Irish men and women emigrated to all four corners of the earth. Today, the port exports millions of tonnes of Irish goods and takes in everything the country needs to survive. From cars to oil to bananas, it all comes through the Port of Cork. The Port of Cork is the key seaport in the south of Ireland and is the only Irish port which services the requirements of all six shipping modes. Lift on, lift off, roll on, roll off, liquid bulk, dry bulk, brake bulk and cruise. Due to its favourable location on the south coast of Ireland and its modern deep water facilities, the Port of Cork is ideally positioned for additional European trading and has the potential to offer direct deep sea shipping services. The Port of Cork's growing reputation for quality service, including prompt and efficient vessel turnaround, ensures its position as a vital link in the global supply chain. The Port of Cork handles between 8 and 10 million tonnes of cargo each year through its four distinct port facilities. Within the heart of Cork City are the City Keys, handling 600,000 tonnes of cargo each year, ranging from animal feedstuffs, salt, fertilisers, coal and timber. Tivoli Container Terminal and Industrial Estate handles lift-on, lift-off container traffic, door-to-door -door and feeder, where at least five sailings per week are operated to European ports. Approximately 180,000 TEUs were handled here in 2014. Zinc and lead concentrates from Lachine Mine are also handled here, as well as chemicals, LPG, salt and olivine. Two 40-ton gantry cranes and 15 40-ton straddle carriers, high productivity levels combined with 24-7 operations contribute greatly to the high quantities of throughput handled here. Ringeskiddy Deep Water Terminal is capable of handling fully laden Panamax size vessels of up to 60,000 tonnes. Equipped with modern port plant machinery, the Deep Water Terminal handles other bulk cargoes, such as fertilisers, animal feed, cereals, and project cargo. Grimaldi Euromed operates a weekly roll on, roll off service bringing trade vehicles from the Mediterranean and Northern Europe. Maersk also operates a weekly transatlantic service direct to Ringeskiddy from Central America. Cork Harbour is home to the Whitegate Oil Refinery, the only oil refining facility in the state, which is owned and operated by Philips 66. Oil currently accounts for over 55% of total cargo volumes through the port. Brittany Ferries currently operates a weekly summer service from Ringeskiddy to Roscoff through the Port of Cork's ferry terminal which is located adjacent to the deep water terminal. Cork is a great place to enjoy all types of marine leisure pursuits. With the renowned Royal Cork Yacht Club, the oldest sailing club in the world, at the harbour entrance in Crisavon, right up to the city quays where the traditional Irish Corks are still rowed daily. Numerous sailing and rowing clubs are situated along the 13 and a half miles that make up Cork Harbour. The Port of Cork own and operate the city marina, which is an important amenity for visiting and local leisure craft. In May 2015, the Port of Cork was granted planning permission for a 100 million port infrastructure project at Ringeskiddy, which will over time enable the transition of all port activities to the lower harbour. Over the years, the Port of Cork has invested heavily in a dedicated cruise terminal located in Cove, which has resulted in visits from some of the largest luxury cruise liners in the world. Cove Cruise Terminal welcomes on average 55 liners each year and over 150,000 passengers and crew. They can also be handled at Ringeskiddy Deepwater Berth and at the City Quays. As the world's second largest natural harbour, strategically situated on the south coast of Ireland, with direct routes to the Atlantic and beyond, the Port of Cork provides a vital hub that can handle the increasing global trade that is crucial for Ireland's growing economy.